Okay, so I thought I was going to be able to vlog, like, makeup, getting ready, but I am running behind per usual. So I'm not going to be able to go through all my makeup steps and everything, but, or even probably me getting dressed. But that's okay, because you'll see the final product a little later. And we're going to go do some painting. I'm going to show you guys um, me making dinner when I get back. I didn't want to eat out. I just wanted a home-cooked meal. I'm going to be making some asparagus, mashed potatoes, corn, crescent rolls, and some fried chicken slash mushrooms because it's vegan. Okay, guys, so I didn't have a chance to show you guys um, my full get ready with me thing um, because I was running late, so I didn't have a chance to show you guys me getting ready, but this is my outfit for tonight. Some tan booties. I am going to mine in canvas or something like that. It's kind of like painting with a twist, um, but just called a different name. I'm super excited. So I just wanted to get on here and show you guys my beautiful, beautiful face. Ooh, and she looks good. I'm just saying, let's let's give her a when you just looking good and you just want to give yourself a little love, let's give yourself a little spin because you look good, girl. Okay. And it's given what it's supposed to give, per usual, per usual. Some girls are thick, some girls have shapes, but when you have that, that bone structure, when you have the bone structure, it matters. I have to tell myself. Sometimes you just have to tell yourself, you look damn good. And you know what? I look damn good. I look good. I look damn good. I am fine. It's here. I'm supposed to be making it look like wood. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. I had to get me a mimosa to see if I could, it helps me paint better. So this is an update you guys. Okay, this is the final product. Here. They all look really nice. This one looks really nice. I like that one. Can I see yours? Very nice. Oh, I like the welcome. I like how you changed the wording. That's nice. I just got back from painting with the twist. Actually, it's not called painting with the twist because we don't have a painting with the twist here anymore. It got closed down. So it is called, um, what is it called? It's called Wine and Canvas. That's what it's called. And um, it was really cool. Right now, y'all, uh, instead of going out, instead of going to dinner, I decided to do to cook. All right, guys, let me cut the music down a little bit. I'm about to make some dinner. I'm about to make some dinner, guys. Um, so I got, I poured me a little white claw and I'm about to start with the corn first. So right now I'm cooking the corn. I'm adding some pepper into the corn. I like a lot of pepper in my corn, not too much, but you know, enough, enough pepper. So we're gonna put some pepper in there. Just let that cook down. Okay, y'all, so I went and got some asparagus. And I got two. I'm about to wash these off, and then I'm about to cut them, and then put them in the skillet. I didn't already start chopping up my asparagus. Hopefully, y'all can see. Um, these are the ends that I just chopped off. And they're like this, and I'm putting them in the skillet. I'll show y'all how I chop the ends off. Just take... You just have to chop off the hard part. So just take it, chop it off, take the asparagus, put it in the skillet. So now I got my asparagus, as y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see, it's kind of smoky, but my asparagus is cooking. I'm just gonna let those cook. So I got my biscuits here that I'm about to put in the oven. I got my mushrooms right here that I'm about to fry up. And then I also got my instant mashed potatoes. Y'all, I was not finna boil no mashed potatoes. Your girl just don't feel like doing all that, so. Um, and then my water just got done boiling. I'm about to add that in there. 
What I'm about to do now is get my seasonings out and um, show you guys how I do my mixture, my wet and dry mixture for my fried mushrooms. So, let me get out my seasonings. My shirt is kind of big. So, first I'm going to show y'all. I fry my mushrooms with um, organic organic extra olive oil. I put like two little small, I'm going to show y'all how much butter I put in there. And I just did that randomly. I normally don't even add butter, but y'all see them little two dollops? That's how much butter I added in there. Um, but yes, I fry it in extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Show you guys how I do my mixture, my wet and dry mixture for my fried mushrooms. What I'm about to use is some Slap Your Mama. This is one of my favorite seasonings that I use. I use this on damn near everything. So this is a very good seasoning. Also, another good seasoning is this, um, I think you pronounce it Badia. Badia. It's like a Saison um, seasoning, but it's called Complete. This is top tier. I love this seasoning. I use this on almost probably everything. This is very good. Um, I'm going to use some Laurie seasoning. I'm going to use some garlic salt. And I'm also going to use some black pepper. Now I'm going to take my all-purpose flour and I'm going to put it in a bowl. Let me show y'all. This is going to be my dry mixture. Don't be shy with the flour because you're going to need some of this flour for your wet mixture too. Season it really well. So I'm going to put some of this slap your mama and don't be shy with the seasoning y'all. Not be shy. So that's some slap your mama. We're going to add some lorries to it. I know it seemed like a lot, but it's, it's really not. We're going to add some complete. Add some garlic salt. And then now we're going to add some pepper. And me personally, I like using the black peppercorn. I don't like using pepper that's already um, broken down. I like to use peppercorn because I feel like it has a better taste to it, a more natural taste. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to mix it really well. So for um, the wet mixture, I don't drink um, milk, so I'm going to use some almond milk. And I'm going to pour it into this bowl like so. I'm gonna gradually pour this in because I feel like I should have did it opposite, but I'm gonna whisk it as I pour it. Hold on. We just need a thick. Mix it fast. So I got my rack right here. Yeah, I, see. I got my rack right here. I'm gonna set these on. Now I'm gonna do them my dry mixture first. And I'm just gonna coat them and coat this in the dry mixture. After that, I'm going to put it in the I'm gonna move this for a second in the wet mixture. This is this is a little messy, so if you don't like mess, what's some gloves or something? Cause they do get messy. Alright, then I do another coat of the dry mixture. Now I got all of my mushrooms breaded. Here they are on the rack here, as you guys can see. I'm about to put them in the olive oil and fry them up. Okay guys, I forgot to, um, I started frying these and totally forgot to show you guys how it looks when I'm frying them. But this is the end result. Right here, let me put one in the camera. It should be crispy. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that crunch? These are mushrooms, y'all. So it should be crispy, nice, golden brown. I like mine fried hard. And now I'm going to plate. Y'all, I almost forgot about these biscuits. I got them just before they got like super 
kind of burnt. They ain't burnt, but you know. So now I'm gonna butter them. Gotta butter the biscuits, y'all. Meal is almost done. I'm jamming to some old school music. It ain't really old school, old school, but Tamia and Fabulous is a vibe. Still drinking my white claw. Everything's done. Okay, guys, this is the final product. We got our asparagus here, our mashed potatoes, our corn, our dinner roll, and we have some fried mushrooms. Doesn't it look so good? Thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you guys try the fried mushrooms. They're so, so good. Chef's kiss. Um, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.